Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Rest of today's videos, Thursday and Thursdays, I often do Thursday's Thirsty Thoughts, where I try to come up with a topic that's hopefully engaging, give you my thoughts on it, uh, then you guys comment your thoughts, I can respond, people can talk to each other in the comments, and just helps with engagement, you know, it's just, it's nice, I like interacting with people who watch my videos, and it's tough for me to do live streams, so this is the best way. So this was a really easy, obvious topic, maybe I've even done this topic, before. I don't think I have, but um, it's one I've been thinking about a lot lately, I've mentioned it in two reviews, uh, most recently in that um, Rye Whiskey from New York State uh, review, what was it, Hudson Valley Whiskey, something like that, uh, was the name of the company, the distillery. And um, it, it's this idea of saving beer, and it could be other things, but being a beer-centric channel, I'll focus on beer. Uh, uh, a beer, um, like, do you save beer for special occasions? And, like, pros and cons, should we, shouldn't we kind of a thing. That's kind of like the lens I'm looking at this at. And, um, you know, like always, I have relatively, you know, complicated, maybe even conflicting thoughts. You know, I, I older I get, the, the more gray I always see in the world, less, you know, just black and white. There's this and there's this. You know, I see a lot more gray. But as I mentioned in two of these recent videos, with the passing of my brother-in-law, who was, you know, relatively young um, due to cancer, you know, it, it's... It gets me thinking, you know, I've had, and I'm not trying to make this a sad video, and I, I won't, I've been sad enough, I don't want to do that, especially on camera. Um, you know, I, I don't have like a bucket list. Um, I've done almost everything I've wanted to do, and but now I'm kind of thinking like, well, let me revisit, you know, are, are there more things you want to do? You know, I've traveled, except for the pyramids, I've traveled to every major landmark I wanted to see, um, you know, things like that. So I really want to kind of, you know, prioritize some of that life stuff that, I haven't prioritized, just like sit, literally sit down and kind of like, maybe I'll do like a Google search, whatever, like things you should do before you die or whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I've just been very fortunate with my life so far, so I don't really have anything, but it's making me think like, well, let's double check, make sure there's nothing else you want to, you know, do. Um, bringing it back to the beer, which is, again, the, the focus of the channel, even though I've had these larger thoughts. Um, you know, I, I was saving that whiskey that I recently reviewed, that rye whiskey, for a special occasion, not a specific special occasion, not uh, like a specific person who, hey, if, when they're in town, I know they're going to like this, so I'll, I'll save it till they get here and we're going to share it together, you know? Just this make-believe, not set in stone, future event, special occasion. And I, I want to not do that anymore. I, I, I don't, you know, some of the stuff I buy to age, it's on purpose. I want to see how it goes, especially when I first got into aging beer, I'd buy a four pack or a six pack of things and the plan was to drink like one per year, you know, one every other year, something like that. And um, with, you know, doing the reviews on a channel, my drinking habits are more dictated by reviews than, you know, how I would drink beer if I didn't do these reviews. Um, and I do have some stuff, like for example, this one, I, I'm not gonna pull everything off the shelf or even talk about everything in the room necessarily, but like this Bigfoot, you know, I, I really was gonna, I really wanted to bring it to Beer Tuber Palooza last year in 2023, I just couldn't make that event. And uh, not that everyone loves Bigfoot who was there, but I know there's some people who, who like that beer. So I was like, oh, I should bring this. It was, um, you know, my area got like six in or something ridiculous, maybe 12 between two stores. I just happened to, you know, be there when it was there that I could buy one. And um, so I, I know it's like not the easiest beer to get. So I just wanted to share it at that. So like that was purchased for a future consumption because I knew there was going to be some people who would really uh, appreciate it. I still want to do stuff like that. What I, again, don't want to do is just like these not concrete, potentially future events that just seem important, you know? Uh, maybe you have like a big birthday coming up or any birthday, you know? And you're like, oh, I'm saving this for my birthday. To me, that makes sense. Something I think I would still continue to do where it's like, oh yeah, this is, this is going to signify this specific future event. But uh, in terms of just this, this, oh, I'm going to save this for a potential future thing, I, I, I'm not doing it anymore. But as always, I'm not a particularly judgmental person. If you're like, no, no, I still like doing that or like setting some stuff aside. And then like if uh, an exciting, you know, special occasion presents itself, then I have that stuff set aside. Cool. Like I, I just, it's such a funny thing to me how some humans are where it's like, I do this, but then because someone does that, the assumption that I'm judging them for doing it different, you know, none of that here. Uh, so I definitely want to hear your thoughts. Do you... 
Um, have you always been someone who just saves for a future occasion? Have you never done it? Have you done it and you've modified how you do it, kind of like me? Um, anything, everything, comment section below. I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you, you know, buy beer for these future events, whether concrete or not? Definitely want to hear your thoughts. Comment section below. Once you get done with that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews in both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, ramble on camera. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.